Welcome to part two from Trash to Treasure. This is Ashley from Paper and Twine, if you're new here. I have been saving and hoarding these toilet roll cores for quite a while to do something with because let's face it, we all have toilet rolls, or we do now. Do you remember when <laughs> the first lockdown we couldn't get toilet roll in the UK and people were panic buying? Ridiculous, isn't it? But what we're going to do is we're going to take some of these and we're going to put them under some heavy books, a big pile of heavy books uh, to flatten them and that will give us more options as to what to do with them. But um, I did a while ago, I've shown this on my channel. Um, that's not very good Ashley. I, I made this. Um, so just an ordinary toilet roll. I've covered it with paper. I made some discs um, out of die cut circles, covered those in paper and inked around the edges. And this is just a little container for my thin strips of waste paper that I will get round to doing something with. So um, come back in a couple of days and we'll see what we can make with the flattened toilet roll cores. So these toilet roll cores have been under some heavy books for about a week. I'm not very happy with how they have flattened out. They're still a bit bouncy. So I'm going to spray them with some Fabulosa, which will disinfect them anyway, and hopefully make them smell nice. And then I'm going to cut them and um, put them again under some heavy books for a few days and see if that flattens them out a little bit more. So I filmed that an absolute age ago and um, I did cut them up cut the toilet rolls up, um, sprayed them with Fabulosa, put them again under something heavy and they are nice and flat. Um, and they still smell nice. Yeah, but that was last year I filmed that. Yeah, shocking filming. Um, and here is what I have made. Um, I made this for Inspired to Create issue 84. I was tasked to make something from upcycled objects and I chose to use toilet roll cores because we all have them and I've made this little accordion junk album. So toilet roll, to uh, I can't say it, toilet roll cores for the cover and um, I've used everything that came with the kit for Inspired to Create issue 84 on sale 19th of May. So you'll be seeing this after the 19th of May. Um, I really loved this collection, absolutely gorgeous. Um, and yeah, ribbon to tie it up, stamped an inside cover. I could have made that into a tuck spot actually. This lo lovely little poppy seed head. And then I've used papers that came with the kit and I've made an accordion fold so I cut these to I think it was three and three quarters by four and a quarter scored at a half and then uh, joined them together to make a long strip so this is one side there's a little tuck spot there a little pocket there for a journaling card this is glued down on the base the little word laugh and then on the other side you can see the other papers so you've got a little tuck spot here little motivational saying from one of the stickers sunshine butterflies so you can use all of these as journaling spaces so that is what i made don't forget to like comment share subscribe and uh, you know if you do comment please take time to comment engage with me it does help um what do you think of this little project that i made it was a long time in the making that's for sure but um that is a real trash to treasure little project take care everybody i'll be back soon bye now and i am back soon because i just thought i'd show you what it looked like in the magazine and uh, it's a beautiful box kit. It, it is pr on the pricey side, but this one I think is really good value. I love indigo blue. Look, there's my project on the back that we just done a flick through of. Um, and you get so much in this. If I hadn't had been sent this, I would have bought this um, because there is such a lot in it. So you've got the box you can keep it in. 
um, <clears throat> this is the kit and you get a little die I used everything in my journal you get a little die so it cuts out the edge and that you get a shed load of stickers one two three sticker sheets which I used in the album I'll just move these out of the way you get two rolls of washi tape they are the same um, I thought they were different at first but they might be slightly different actually but those are lovely lovely washi tapes you get a stencil now I can't remember whether, whether I used oh I think I used it but not with texture paste yeah you can see yeah um beautiful lovely moroccan vibe that one and then you've got your big dandelion and your corner and then the creme de la creme the cat's just let herself in um you've got this stamp set i mean i'd pay 14.99 just for this so you've got the background splatters that i used like a postmark that this is a hug it's here when you need it i used all of the sentiments a good laugh is like sunshine in nature and I uh, isolated words like nature and laugh. I put hello on the spine. Thank you. Look at these flowers. This one is my favourite. Love it. And then you've got this big collage stamp. So beautiful, beautiful gifts. A really thick magazine. There's my little book again. 3D projects. I can't remember what I was asked to make now. I think yes I think it was 3d projects um, and then inside the magazine you've got all of these wonderful signature indigo blue grungy papers beautiful colors I love that mulberry color and you can see elements of the stamps in the papers like the leaves and the splotches abstract leaf there You've got the dandelions, which are one of the um, stamps on this paper here. I think you get two of everything. Some sentiments. I love those little bugs. <laughs> yeah, so you get two of those. And then, obviously, um, I love Kay Halliwell Sutton's work anyway. I think she's brilliant. She gives lots of ideas for what to do so the lovely mike cross has taken over the editorship of these box magazines now he was um paper craft essentials wasn't he and uh, he swapped with somebody now is there anything else of mine there no does it say anything in the editorial is there anything in the editorial i don't know does it say contributors Yes, it does and I'm not I'm not mentioned that's twice I've been missed off the contributors list never mind never mind as always we're filled to the brim with projects and ideas to keep you crafting now I think my um remit what well, oh here we go um for those of you who love 3D projects, Kerry Sturman's rather wonderful mini shelving unit on page 36 to 37 is the perfect home decor piece, but the statement pieces don't stop there, as Ashley Thompson's upcycling ideas on pages 46 to 47 inspires you to reduce, reuse and recycle items in mixed media projects. So let's have a look at page 46 to 47. here we go oh yes i did a bit i remember now yes it's all coming back to me so i did it quite a while ago i did a baked beans tin um and covered it with paper stenciled through that moroccan stencil with um texture paste and gilding wax cut out the flowers put them on um you know the sticks that you get with um what do you call it the not the incense burners the the scented things the reeds reeds diffusers that's it yes i used those as little flowers in there and then one of my little marks and spencers tins i did a little a little piece in there and there's a the little book yeah so that was it that's me done and i will be back 
tomorrow it is Wednesday so that means it'll be Hilary from Pink Bubble Cards Alphabet Challenge we're on to Z tomorrow for a zigzag and um, yes there might be something else going up as part of that as well don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and I'll be back tomorrow bye everybody